nine changes that players want to see made to the Master Chief Collection and 343 is aware of these. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again give you another news informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news informational videos please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what changes you would like to see added to the MCC after listening to this video as well as I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. And if you're new to the channel or miss any content from me and want to stay updated with everything going on in the Halo community make sure you tap subscribe guys because I think I believe right now about 80% of the viewership on this channel is unsubscribed so guys you're coming here for halo news you definitely want to stay up to date with everything so make sure make sure you tap subscribe so let's get right into the content here so in december mcc dev update was released and it was a uh, quite a lengthy one so there's tons of bits and pieces i'm giving to you guys to kind of give you a bite size form so you to understand it and digest properly so in this video i'm giving you the nine changes that players have requested and 343 knows that want to be added into the mcc for a better user experience so let's jump right into it so number one on the list here is not any like tier order or anything it's just the nine things that people want and number one on the list list here is regional server selection this is actually be a very important thing when it comes to uh, especially for pc users as well as console users just in general uh ping is very important when it comes to especially shooter games uh, and so being able to play on a uh, server that you know you have a solid connection on is super important now right now in the mcc that the game kind of decides that for you on the balance of connection skill level and amount of players playing kind of thing and so most of the times at least from my experience playing on the west coast is where i'm playing from uh the worst connection i guess probably on the east coast servers which generally i remember kind of gives me about a 90 to maybe 100 ping not that great anything above 90 is kind of rough anything below is is just fine for my opinion when it comes to shooters so uh being able to add in a regional server selection would certainly be nice i know there certainly are ways to block servers as well to kind of vicariously do this and uh there's certainly videos on youtube if you want to look up to how to do that as well uh, but from my experience uh from playing on the west coast of the u.s that mainly i'm getting u.s servers so i'm not really having that much of an issue with it but i know a lot of people on the east coast may get some eu servers vice versa so people over in europe might be getting some east coast servers obviously some serious lag going on there so i am sure you probably want to be able to block those servers and the players want that feature in 343 is aware of it and they currently have it in uh, the idea of things that add on to the MCC. Another thing that we added on here for number two is gonna be crossplay between Xbox and PC. Currently there is crossplay between Steam and the Windows Store, uh, but no console to PC crossplay, which I would kind of say this isn't gonna be implemented right now. Um, is, though they are very concerned about adding this into the future. Uh, I know there's been a lot of talk between mouse and keyboard when it comes to aim assist and that saying that the controller might be a little bit too strong with the aim assist, but they're saying that, that if you tweak the aim assist on PC, on the controller, it's basically going to cancel out the aim ability in the future of crossplay coming between the console and PC. So 343 is aware of this. They want to have this happen. And it's just a matter of issues of having the two systems being able to talk to each other. I personally I think this would be the single greatest thing on this list to add on to the MCC as it would greatly increase the player base it just bring everybody together and it would just be an excellent addition to the Master Chief collection. Another great feature being added into the MCC, hopefully, is number three here. It's going to be Steam account linking, which, honestly, I think this is going to be a bigger improvement that you may hear it at first. You'd be like, linking your Steam account, sure. I link my account to many other things. It doesn't really affect my uh, game player experience when it comes to using an app or anything. But this would actually be really, really nice, as uh, I do find quite a lot of issues when it comes to people who may only have the game on Steam, never played it on the console, and... I I'm on the Windows Store, they're on Steam, like, how do I send you an invite? It's not that easy or straightforward. So being able to integrate your Steam Friends account into your Windows Store or integrate your Windows Store into your Steam game would be super beneficial and a huge quality of life improvement. Be able to add friends and you know anybody who wants to join in and play with you. At linking your accounts together would be an absolutely huge life uh, quality of life improvement that I think would absolutely needs to be done. That'd be one of my, probably my second highest priority right below cross player. 
right there. So number four on the list, variable frame rate improvements. Uh, from my experience, I have noticed that it's been pretty smooth on my end. Um, even with using mouse and keyboard, I don't really notice any uh, input delay or anything that, like there was before. Uh, I do notice a little bit of ghosting of an images kind of stuff. I'm not quite sure if that's an issue with the variable frame rate or my monitor or something in between, um, I will, which we'll touch on a little bit later in this list as well about what could actually improve that situation. Um, but for the most part, from my hand, my end, variable frame rate does work pretty well. And so uh, maybe some people might have some other issues, obviously playing on PC with the millions of different combinations of hardware that can be added in. Uh, certainly some people might have be having issues there. Uh, number five on the list is idle system improvements. Uh, as we do know that if you're playing the game and a lot of times, you know, sometimes you'll be go get up, get a drink and someone hits, you know, you know go on the server they try to go for a search but then you go idle and then uh you're you can't get into the game that's a lot that's you know some people have issues with that that sometimes the idle system is a little too quick on you being uh, inactive and also sometimes people are just joining games and they just not even playing at all uh so that's one of the issues where it just comes to users being aware of what they're doing as well also having a proper timed uh idle timeout kind of thing there for players as well i think it just kind of comes down to uh you know fine tuning that a little bit better uh, customization improvements right here for number six and I would definitely agree with the at least the UI when it comes to customization improvements uh, so far with the f season one of Halo Reach that being able to customize your character the way you can like you could in Halo Reach in the MCC right now is fantastic now when it comes to the other games in the MCC especially for say Halo 3 and Halo 4 um, you would definitely need to have a nice overhaul for that as uh, currently right now you just basically pick like and armor set and a color and that's it uh, not like you could do back in the day and so if you maybe try to break up those uh, customizations into like helmets, body piece, leg pieces, something like that. It would be a much better experience for players to help uh, create their own unique uh, Spartan within the multiplayer atmosphere of the game right there. Number seven on the list right here, in-game FPS cap and adjustments. Uh, currently right now in the PC version of the MCC, you can either go 60 FPS on the cap or unlimited. Now, or beyond 60 FPS, or some other monitors that can do 120, some 144, and some other ones can be do a little different, I'm sure. Um, but personally, I would like to lock the game in with the same frame rate that my monitor is in, so that my PC doesn't work, have to work harder than it needs to. Uh, when, especially when it, it works great when it comes to just uh, overall game stability, being able to lock my game. Say that I have a 144 hertz, 4, 144 hertz monitor, being able to lock the game at 144 frames per second would be super nice. So then, like I said, it smooths out the gameplay experience. Make sure my PC doesn't have to work as hard as it does with the unlimited option, and being able to just. Um, you know, have a much smoother, better experience. I think that'd be a super nice uh, option to have for quality of life improvements. Uh, being able to in game, you lock your frames at whatever frame rate you want it to be, or at least the standard frame rates that we know for our monitors. Uh, and number eight on the list is a better way to report players. Uh, I actually never really bothered with this because I don't really report players too much. Only if someone's like obviously cheating, like using some hacks or something like that. It's the only time I ever really bother with it. Um, so I haven't really come across this too much, but obviously being able to catch people who are cheating, hacking, or maybe running some, I did see people in the beta running some scripts to where they were just running idle the whole time, but it was inputting keys at a certain amount of times to make it so they weren't reading as idle pretty cheesy right there so being able to report those players would certainly be a nice addition and number nine to finalize this list here is bring in pc features to the console like fov sliders now this one i would not hold your breath on being added into the mcc as you do have to take in consideration the um, base level xbox one right now is completely filled to the brim when it comes to memory and push the max on this system just to play halo reach on the xbox one so whatever because you don't want to add features that uh, should be seen as rather universal, but then can only be maybe experienced on just the Xbox One X. 
Um, that's what really held uh, the Reach coming to the MCC uh, was because they had to keep fine-tuning the game more and more and more to make it sure it ran on the original Xbox One. Because I'm sure the regular Xbox One X could probably run the game just fine at you know whatever point they were. But the Xbox One, the original version of it, it was quite a task to get that game to be able to run on that system right there. So uh, I wouldn't hold your breath. I haven't seen these uh, features being added in, but. Uh, it was certainly would be nice to see that as we we're starting to see a much more of a merger between the console platform and PC platform as we move on to the next generation of gaming. But let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys want to see added in to the MCC as well. Was this list exactly what you wanted? Let me know in the comment section down below as I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you enjoyed this video or learned something from it, make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. And if you're new to the channel or missed any content from me, make sure to tap subscribe guys because it keeps you updated with all the news going on in Halo's universe right now. And if you're missing any videos from me, check out the videos on the screen right now. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.